Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. Today I am going to be doing a little haul because I went on a very impromptu charity shopping trip and I was so shocked at how successful I was. So I literally popped down to the high street before work. I had some eBay parcels to post. So I decided to go into the charity shops. I didn't manage to go in all of the ones on my high street but I managed to pick stuff up in I think three out of the four I went to and I got I can't remember because I haven't counted but I want to say about eight things maybe ten eight to ten things I'm not sure um which never happens usually I'll pick up like three things when I pop down to my high street if that if I'm lucky so I had an hour and I got so much stuff I literally went in every shop and I was like boom 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 that's mine that's mine that's mine wicked so yeah I thought I'd share them with you guys and I'm gonna try a different format today and I'm not gonna just be like showing new clothes and being like this is what I got and I'm also not gonna be overlaying like clips of me wearing the footage being all posy and like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try a different format and I have stolen this <laughs> from probably my favorite fashion like youtuber um, which is Lucy Wood. She does a lot of hauls for girls my size, size 14, and well, they're for anyone really, but she's also a size 14, so I realised recently I do not watch any hauls by anyone else anymore. She's literally the only person, I don't watch a lot of YouTube anymore to be honest, but I always watch her hauls because she's so funny and I love the way she films them as well, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, because I thought to myself, if I enjoy watching it so much, it's probably fun to film as well. So, so I'm having a terrible hair day today. A terrible tan day. My tan went horribly today. And um, it's all just gone a bit wrong. So just, just forgive me for that. Bear that in mind. Don't leave me any comments saying your tan's bad. I know it is. It hasn't, it hasn't gone the best, especially on my feet. Yay. <sighs> It's also super duper hot in front of this softbox light so so without further ado let's cut to me showing you everything I bought the other day okay so the first thing are some shorts which are these little navy silky little number from Zara I picked them up in Oxfam and these were $1.99 and they're not the sort of thing I would usually wear. Silky shorts, not really my game. But Zara shorts for $1.99, how could I say no? For the purpose of this video, I've teamed them with this pyjama top, which does make the whole thing look like pyjamas, um, because I would never wear something like this out. Um, it's a bit saucy. But I've um, got to be honest, I'm not 100% sold on these shorts, so I thought they'd be cute for like a night out, maybe, but I'm not too sure. I don't think the top is helping, but I don't know, the on, off, no, on the hanger, I love these shorts. I'm not so sure when they're on me. I'm going to change the top, I don't think the top helps because it does this and yeah, let's change the top and see how that goes. Okay, so ignore the fact that I don't have a real bra on. <laughs> I only have a bralette thing on underneath this bralette. I'm double braletting it up. But I think that actually already looks better. Although I still probably wouldn't go out on a night out dressed like this. There's a little bit too much stuff on show for me. But um, I couldn't find like just a plain normal vesty top. So this is just what I've gone with. But um, yeah, $1.99 Zara shorts, very silky. A little bit saucy, your bum doesn't hang out. What more could you want? I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's the first thing I picked up and um, hopefully we get something better. I don't know, it's hard for me to tell in this little viewfinder and I haven't really properly looked in the mirror, let's do that. Okay, next I've got another pair of shorts and I'm covering them up at the moment because they are a surprise. So the morning, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 I can't speak. 
The morning before I went to the charity shops, I was going through some of my summer clothes and I found these shorts, which I bought in the summer of 2017. They're Primark and a size 14. Um, and I tried them on and they were a little bit snug. They're a little bit too tight for me. So I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'll just go on the hunt for a new pair of shorts. So I went on eBay and I got a pair of shorts, which I'll show you in a sec. But when I went to the charity shops, I found the shorts that I've got on underneath. And I thought they were the exact same shorts, but in pink. So ta-da, here they are. So I thought they were exactly the same, but these are a size 16. So I thought, amazing, size 16. I've already got the same pair at home. 16 would have to fit. And obviously they do fit. Like I've got them on, there's a bit of room, but they're not the exact same pair of shorts because these say hot pant in the back, which I didn't notice. Um, and these definitely don't say hot pant anywhere. And my bum is hanging out. They look cute, like they are really cute. Um, the dear volunteer in the charity shop did ask me like, how can you buy these? Like they've got rips all in them. and if this pocket moves like a little bit then you can just see my underwear there which is not fun but to be honest i don't think i'd wear these out because there is a lot of bum problems however maybe if i was going on a holiday and popping down beach this would be a-okay but i am a little bit disappointed that they're a size 16 but they're still like so tight I mean they're not too tight but they're just not like the most comfortable um but Primark sizing is just all over the shop anyway but yeah these are my shorts I think I paid two pounds for them in cancer research and don't get me wrong they're cute as a button I like them I like them a lot but this, well <laughs> that's a window to my stretch marks <laughs> that is Something to behold that this is just ridiculous guys modern clothing is Whack, it's just like high stretch marks. How you doing? Um, so yeah, those are my two pound Primark shorts, which are cute, but um We've got butt cheek hanging out isn't it funny how I'm like, I couldn't possibly wear these out, my bum cheek's hanging out, but I'm like, here a few hundred people on the internet, see my bum, making my parents proud. Next, I have got another pair of shorts. Who would have ever thought little old me would have three pairs of shorts in one video? I don't even remember the last time I wore shorts in public, it was probably in 2017. So, yeah, like I said, when I realised, sorry, I need to get a swig of my tea, my mouth is dry. When I realised um, the other day that those blue Primark shorts didn't fit me, I thought, never mind, let's treat ourselves to a new pair. And new to me is like second hand. So I popped onto eBay, typed in vintage highway shorts, and I think vintage denim highway stitch shorts. And I got these ones, which are from Lee, and I think they were 8 99 I'll link them in the description because they've got quite a few different like colours and stuff and yeah they're just little cut off shorts I'll pop them on for you and we'll have a little look just trying to finish my tea in peace now these are what the doctor ordered shorts where my bum is where it should be which is covered um maybe they are a little bit longer than I'd like maybe a little rolly rolly might help. Um, eh. I don't know. I also feel like they could do with a little bit more distress. They were quite cut clean when they came and I did take the tweezers to them a bit to try and free them up a bit. But um, I think they're really cute. It's a bit annoying though because I feel kind of snug at the front but then there is room at the back. And I haven't even tried to sit down on them yet, let alone contemplate a meal. I'm just going to sit on my bed for a sec and see how that feels. Well, sitting down isn't the most comfortable, but when is it ever in high-waisted stuff? I kind of sat and then did a bit of a lean. 
So just imagine me sat, sat like this in like a restaurant. I know. Um, what size did I get? I think I got a 36 inch waist. But I can't see the, oh here it is. Yep, 36 waist. Do you know what? My dad's lost quite a bit of weight lately. I bet he had some 36 inch waist jeans knocking about in the back of his wardrobe that I could have just taken the scissors to but um someone did the hard work for me I suppose I'm sorry sorry about the uh, belly button I'm just trying to sort these pockets out um I wanted to try a belt with them but that would mean locating my belt where is it if you could see how disgusting my room is right now then you would understand why I can't see the, my belt I'm so like out of breath just from talking I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, belts are a new concept to me. I haven't really ever been a fan of belts, but that would be because I had belts that were not the right size. <laughs> and ever since my big one that fits me, it's been a revelation, honestly, because it adds a little bit of something something to your outfit. Look at that, looks high fashion already. But anyway, those are shorts numero Trace. And yeah, um, this is the only thing I bought not in a charity shop, so this is the only thing I can link in the description, but there you go. 99 for little vintage shorts like this is not half bad. I remember, how many years ago was it? I was 18. So seven years ago, I went to Lovebox Festival. Um, and... I wore this stupid skirt and stupid outfit and it rained um, so I had to buy a sweatshirt and I bought some shorts as well and I bought some little denim Levi shorts which I still have they will never fit me again because they're literally this big um, but I've kept them for the memories of the festival I think I paid about £20 for them and they're not even like this nice like vintage style they're just so average, so the fact that these are $8.99, big tick in my book. Anyway, let us move on. We're going to move on to something that I'm not optimistic about, and it's these jeans. Um, they are the Boy Fit jeans from Next. They were £3, and I got them in a size 16. And they look like they're going to be too big, which is annoying because most of my size 14 jeans are too tight. And then on the off chance I ever buy a 16, they're fucking massive. But anyway, let's try these on. Hi, it's three months later because I didn't realise these have got buttons. So that took me quite a while. As I suspected, <laughs> they're a little bit big. Um, can we get a full length? Yes, we can. They don't look great. I think I kind of forgot that the boy fit is not as nice as the mum fit. Um, and they're also long, like it says on the label that they're a 16 long, so I've had to fold them up and they are quite something. Look at all that. <laughs> Let me belt them and see how that goes. If they look okay belted, then maybe I'll just try and cut the ends, some like a couple of inches off the bottom and then roll them because there's just a lot going on right now. I'm so out of breath. I think I've got asthma. So the weather is so muggy and like um I think it's gonna be a bit storm. It's raining at the moment, but I think I'm gonna get a storm, so I think that doesn't help my breathing. Um yeah, well I mean do up not bad. Um is that, I think that feels better, but I haven't really had a look in the mirror. I don't know, they're still quite like gapey at the back here. I don't know if you can really see. I don't know. Maybe I could get like someone to put some elastic in them because they're really comfy. Um, but yeah, they're not as nice as a mum fit. How long are they before I? Okay, they are so long. Can you see that? I don't know. 
on my tippy toe that's how much they come down so that's cute yeah so these jeans were like two quid and they're a bit of a fail <laughs> but maybe i'll try and jazz them up a bit maybe i'll cut the ends off and toughen them up toughen them up a bit i don't know what that what's going on now cool i bought one of these people call it a skirt and um yeah let's whack this on i don't know what top to wear with it what top would go with you just a little vesty top maybe a little white vest okay so this skirt was two pound 75 from scope and originally it is from tu I think you call it TU or is it two? Either way, it's from a supermarket called Sainsbury's. <laughs> My first instinct is that I feel like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. That's how I feel right now. Um, so, here's a story. I went to Margate last weekend with my sister and we were in a vintage shop and she saw a skirt very similar to this but it was vintage and a much thicker material maybe not the best material for summer she wanted to try it on but it was a bit expensive and she couldn't really be bothered so she didn't and then for the rest of the day we just kept seeing people in these little pleated midi skirts and she was like oh, i should have bought that one so i saw this one in the shop <laughs> and i was like mm, i kind of like that but um is that mean to buy it when my sister wanted one so I after buying that, I text her saying, don't hate me, <laughs> but I bought a skirt like those ones we were talking about. If I don't like it, I'll pass it your way and you can have it. But um, I think I like it. And when we were teenagers, she was always really mean about me borrowing her stuff. So I don't feel like I should have to lend it to her. <laughs> no, I quite like it. I feel a little bit like a ballerina. It's kind of fun. Um... So, nice one Sainsbury's, I approve. I also think a skirt like this is best with like a very skin tight vest, although this one is so skin tight I can't breathe, it's way too small. Um, but yeah, it's really flowy and fun and just you can dance around in it. It's lovely, lovely jubbly. I approve this skirt. £2.75 worth of happy, joyous skirt but i'm looking outside right now and my whole window is drenched in rain i can't even imagine wearing this skirt anytime soon which is really sad but true Next we've got a dress, it is a beautiful dress, but I think it's going to be see-through so I've got to change my underwear. And by change my underwear what I really meant was just put a pair of beige ones over my black ones I've got on. Hello, here's my dress. So I will admit this is a little bit big, but I kind of like it because it, I can just imagine on a super hot day, hello, put this on, it's so free and roomy, although to be fair, on a super hot day, I probably want to be like having less stuff up here, but for work maybe, hello, it's got pockets, she's got pockets, she's spotty, it reminds me of, I'm going to show my age now, there was a TV show on when I was a little one called Come Outside and this lady had a little dog and she had a plane that was spotty, almost identical to this one. And this also has little, oh, did I just show too much? I don't know. It has little pom-poms on, which are so cute. And this was £3.50 in scope. And I was literally paying for my other stuff at the till when I saw this out the corner of my eye. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? Oh my God, I've literally just been trying clothes on. How unfit am I? So I picked it up and I was like, that's so cute. And I had to make a snap decision. 
And in my head I was like, this totally looks something, this is, this is crazy by the way, this totally looks like something that Louise Pentland would wear. And I just looked at the price and I went £3.50, boom, you're coming home with me. I get it home, I look in the label and it says, simply be a sprinkle of glitter. This is only from her bloody range at Simply Be, which I didn't even know she had. What a coinky dink. So, yeah. The only problem I have with it is that it's coming away at the seam a little bit, but my mum said she might be able to fix that, which I hope she can because it's so much fun. I love it lots. I can wear it to work because it's not too long. It doesn't show off anything untoward. And probably just the most fun dress I'll ever own, ever, you know? Next we have got, we've only got three more things left guys. Next I'm going to show you what this looks like on. This is a brand new blouse from Primark. It was a tenner and I paid two ninety nine for it in Oxfam. I'm going to have to put some kind of trouser on to wear that. I should have tried this on when I had shorts on. Cool. Oh, I tell a lie, there's four things left. How exciting. Oh, I love this. This is lush. Love this lots. Um, so yeah, this is like the perfect spring blouse, I would say. Would have been perfect in a size 16. I mean, it does fit, but I've not got a lot of room to move around. Not that I walk around doing this a whole lot, but it's very tight. I'm surprised I can't hear like all the stitching going help me but um for my work I just sit at a desk so for that all I need to do is be able to write stuff type stuff and make tea so tested all that out and it's fine for that as long as I don't do a lot of this it will be fine um have to make sure I wear it with high waisted things because we get a little bit of this which is fine for play but not so fine for work and um it's a bit of lush isn't it perfect for spring although it is technically summer now isn't it i think i would wear this with my little brown strappy sandals and my little straw bag and be on my way i think that's a bit of a win but like i said size 16 would have been perfecto but you don't get to decide these things when you're in a charity shop so yeah Originally £10, bought it for three. Bada bing, bada boom. Some little sleeves too. Can't really say more. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay, next is a top I got in Cancer Research for two quid. It has no labels in, so I can't tell you where it's from, but I can tell you it's the perfect lightweight summer top. It's got some whatever this stuff is. Crochet, I believe the kids are calling it. And it's... It's a little bit annoying that it does that at the back, but I could always do a little tuck, have a little play, I'm sure it will all work out in the end. It's also a little bit see-through, which again, a little bit annoying, because I wouldn't want to wear something like this to work, maybe, um, and that is pretty much the only place I go. But apart from that, two quid, it's a good one. I like it, it's a nice material. Um, only problem I have is that there appears to be some fake tan inside it, which isn't a problem because I'll probably get my own fake tan on it, but I would like to start it with a fresh new life in my wardrobe. And because it doesn't have any um, labels in it, I don't know what its washing instructions are. So I don't really know how the best way is to get the old fake tan out. And I'm not really a hand washing kind of girl because um, I hand washed them at once and I broke it. But um, that's a story for another time. Um, but it's cute, isn't it? Lovely. Just, um, just wish it wasn't like so long at the back because it's a dress. That, that is a dress length at the back, isn't it? But yeah, it's cute. I like it. Now the next thing next thing I think is as far away from my personal style, if you can call what I've got personal style, it's as far away from that as you can possibly get. I'm looking at it now, looking at it now thinking, 
I'm not sure why I bought that. But I feel like I've seen cool looking girls wear this sort of thing before and I also feel like I've seen this sort of thing in vintage shops for like 20 quid before. So when I saw it for £1.75 I thought I'm going to get that. I'll show you what it is. So like I said this was £1.75 and it looks like this. I know what you're thinking. She's off to a radio. Um, you might be correct but there's something about it that I think has some charm and even if it looks horrendous on me I can pop it on eBay and send it off to someone who it won't look horrendous in so this is from Ozark Mountain Jean Company it's in a size XL it was £1.75 did make me laugh that I found it in the men's section because I saw it in the men's section and I immediately imagined my dad wearing this which was a really funny thought but yeah I don't know what trousers what jeans to wear with it might whack on some mum jeans but we'll see let's give them a go i'm a little bit scared just a little bit okay i think the only real thing i can do with this is keep it for when i go line dancing which has never happened but you never know i need to rip these labels out right this second they're the most annoying things i've ever met in my life Ugh. um I have to say, it fits, like, I love loose stuff that I can move around in because I'm always doing this, apparently. <laughs> if you go by this video, I'm apparently doing a lot of this all the time. Um, I love it, it's really comfy. The label is a little bit annoying though because it's very large. Um, but yeah, I don't think this is me. I think it's bothering me that there's two pockets. I think one pocket would have sufficed. There's also some dirty marks on it. It needs a good wash. Someone's definitely worn this to some kind of line dancing rodeo affair. Had a lot of fun in it, but not run it through the wash. But it doesn't smell, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm disgusting. Yay. Let me know what you guys think of this. What the hell would I even wear with this, really? Like, what shoes would you wear with this? I have no idea. This is not me at all. How would you style this? How would one genuinely style this astonishing garment that I have picked up here? But anyway, it was £1.75, so it's not like I've wasted my money because we've learned that I cannot pull this off, and that's a good thing to know for future reference, isn't it? And I also just want to do a special shout out to these jeans. Can't believe I'm saying this, these are my best jeans in the whole wide world, I love them so much. They were £3 in a charity shop last year. But this is the last time we'll be seeing them because they are ripping right up, for lack of a better word, the arse crack. And the belt loops are all coming off where I've done too much of this. And they're just the best jeans in the world, and I will miss them so much. And I just wanted to give them some love in this video because they have served me so well. RIP MS Mum Jeans love you so much right we've got one more thing left and it's a dress and not gonna lie it is a dress my mum would have worn in the mid noughties i think so yeah i think i don't know there's something about it that makes me just think it it's um gonna make me look like a mum in it but anyway this is a wallace dress Three, I paid three ninety nine for it, and it's a size eighteen. Which, if I'm being honest, it's not. <laughs> I think they put the wrong label on it. Even though the official like Wallace label says eighteen, there's no way. There's no way. Shops and their sizing have some real fucking issues. I'm just putting it out there. So let's try her on, and then we'll see. That's the last one. We'll then regroup at the end about how we feel about all of what's just got on. I put some shoes on for this one, but it, it, they don't go and it doesn't help. Um, and they also make me so much taller that I'm not even in frame. So that's great. Here's the dress that I, I fucking hate. <laughs> Let me take these shoes off because they were an error. And the fact I'm doing this without holding on to anything is a little bit really that was I was gonna say 
scary, but it was it was genuinely skillful. Ah, ten years of ballet. That's what that is. Right. Oh, that was loud. I don't really know what I was thinking when I bought it, to be honest, but it's also definitely not a size 18. I mean, there is room in here, but I don't see how it could be. This is not the kind of dress you'd wear with a belt, but I'm willing to try anything at this point because I want to make it work. No, I can already show this isn't, no, I could, I, no, this is not, no, no, no. I'm fucking hearing things. I thought someone was at my door. Um, yeah. No, this is, the whole thing is a no, unfortunately. I don't even know if I like hate it, not like, I don't know if I hate it. I can't work out how I'm gonna word this. Do I not hate it enough that I could like whack it on to go to work in? No, I think it ages me because I do need more summer dresses that are like work appropriate but um this is not it i will say this though it is lined which is great because so many summer dresses aren't lined and it's so helpful because then you don't have to like wear a slip for the kids at home with slippers the thing you slip on underneath your clothes so you don't get see-through bits and stuff um so yeah this is not the one is it no sorry bob anyway I'm going to slip into something that is not this and um, regroup. So guys, that is that. That is everything I bought at the charity shop and one eBay thing this week. Let me know in the comments if you have found any secondhand bargains recently. I love to hear that sort of thing. I often get people message me on Instagram telling me about their like charity shop bargains. It lights up my life. I love it so much. Um, let me know if there's anything that I picked up that you like. Don't let me know if you didn't like any of it because that'll make me sad. And it's not nice to make people sad. <laughs> Please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Feel free to follow me on any of the socials. We've got them all down in the description. We've got my many array of Instagram accounts. I love talking to you guys, whether it's in the comments, in the DMs, in the anywheres. So make sure you start up a little conversation somewhere with me. I enjoy it. So, yes. And I feel like I've missed out something that I wanted to say, but I don't remember what it is, so I won't dwell on it for too long. Um, because I really don't remember what the fuck it was that I was going to say. Couldn't have been that important, could it? So, that is that. I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.